This is Samson. Samson's a roofing safety level one. What we're practicing this morning is self-rescue. So, so generally we have knots in our ropes to keep us from going over the edge of the roof. But hey, let's say something, something didn't go right and Samson found himself over the edge of the roof. Um, he's going to show us how he does a self-rescue. So first you say, hey Ronnie, I uh, fell off the roof. I need the IDS. Okay. And so... This, this piece of equipment along with our rescue bag would either be in the truck or it'd be in a bag on the top of the roof. If, if I come to the bottom of this rope, I could tie a knot in it. he pulled pull it up if I'm on the roof. I can lower it with the rope or I can hook it to his existing rope and uh, lower it to him. But right now I'm just gonna hand it to him whenever he's ready. So, He's suspended by his ASAP lock. Um, the ASAP lock is a mobile fall arrestor made by Petzl. Um, this one is anti-rated when used with the Ray rope, along with this harness, of course. Load limiting lanyard is anti-rated as well. Uh, we prefer the sternal fall arrest ring so that you can self-rescue, and for a lot of other reasons. It doesn't uh, put Samson here in a position where he's suspended by his dorsal ring and having the harness cut off his veins and, and go through a whole suspension trauma and death sort of thing. So what he's now is he's taking he's taking weight off those uh, carabiners so that, so that he can lower himself, putting his ASAP in the unlocked position. He's got his IDS in uh, the locked position. We could call 911 and, and watch him sit there, but um, you know, if he's hurt, we'll call 911 just as soon as, as soon as we get him down safely. And uh, that's why it's also good to have a rope that's long enough to reach the ground. Good job.